everyone and welcome back to the Evil's Dynasty. Today I am going to be playing a week 8 game on the road against the Midway Mutants. Now, the Midway Mutants are winless at 0-7 heading into week 8, but I am not going to do anything fancy on offense that I don't normally do, as that's kind of what led to a loss last week, but if you see right here, I am actually better in terms of overall than the Midway Mutants, and this is a team whom I beat in the playoffs last year. That week three game from last year, we don't talk about that here. We, we don't talk about that. But I am ready to go into Midway once again. Now, that playoff game was in Philadelphia, though, but still. Chirac, Killinois for a snow game. I believe it was a snow game last year, too, but regardless, this is the first team in this dynasty where, overall-wise, I'm actually better. My team is better, overall-wise, and man, does it feel good to actually say that and have it be true. Uh, I'm going to kick off to start the game, though. And so... Chirac, Killinoy. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? He is the straw that stirs the drink in terms of this offense. He is what makes this offense go. And I'm going to put it in his arm. Or, I'm going to put it in his hands. But first, the defense will see the field, and Snake Elliott will kick off to start the day for the Evils. And it's a good kick, sends the returner down to the two. Fido Hellhound. He breaks a few tackles, and he could be gone, makes another man miss. He's still going. He breaks another tackle. And he is across the 20, or no, he is down at the Evil's 20-yard line. And so the Mutants will take over with great field position to start the day. Rabbit Montgomery gets five yards on the carry. Well, on the pitch, to make it a second down and five, they will line up in the pistol. Lost in kills to throw. And he fires to the end zone! Touchdown! Aylin Robertson! And the, and the mutants score first as Virus Decay is dead on the play for the Evils. And so, following what turned out to be almost the second kickoff return, or maybe the third kickoff return for a touchdown, but it wasn't. Uh, the Mutants quickly score on offense. Tyrant Eagle back deep to return this kick. And he'll take it from the 12. And he's working his way. He didn't even get back to the 30. Okay, he got back to the 29. And so, that is where the Evils will begin the day on offense. First down and 10. Dukem will hand it off to Painwell. And he runs for a gain of 7 yards up to the 26-yard line. Second down and 3 coming up. Dukem will throw. There's Painwell, and he lost a few yards. And that will bring up a third down and six. They will line up in the gun. Dukem will hand it off. Here's Painwell around the outside. 
And he gained five yards before he got taken down. Fourth down and one coming up. What will the Evils do? They will line up to go for it. Dukem will throw against a blitz. They're slenders, and he got a first down and a gain of two. He barely got the first down, but just as he says, that's a big first down. First down and ten. They will line up in the gun again. Dukem will throw. There's Reaper. And he's got a yard on the play. They will line up in the spread on second down and nine. Slanders in motion, clears the backfield. Dukem will throw. And he's... No! Reaper got it! Knocked away and incomplete. And that will bring up third down and nine coming up. Third down and nine from their own 40. Dukem will throw. There's Slenders out of the backfield. And Slenders has got a first down and then some up to the 42 yard line of the mutants well up to the 44 or 43 excuse me Ralston bot checks into the game at running back dukem will hand it to him here's bot going to the outside he breaks a tackle and he's got a 13 yard gain up to the 30 yard line Menace Painwell checks back into the game at running back. And Dukem will hand it to him. He goes to the outside. He breaks a couple tackles. He's to the 20, to the 10. And he is down at the 9-yard line. And that will set up first down and goal for the Evils. Ralston Bot checks back into the game at running back. He throws. There's Bot out of the backfield. And he loses 2 yards. And that will bring up a second down and goal from the 11 yard line. Second down and goal. Dukem will throw. There's Reaper. And he gains four yards to make it a third down and goal from the seven yard line. Third down and goal. Slenders into the game at running back. But that will be the end of the first quarter. And so, at the end of one, it is Mutants 7, Evils 0. Third down and goal from the 7. They will line up in the gun. Dukem will throw. And he fires incomplete! It was intended for Whalen Reaper as Rogue Pain Scythe is dead on the play for the Mutants. And so, Philadelphia will line up for the field goal. It is up, and it is good! And so they cut the deficit to four. Snake Elliott will kick off now for the Evils. And it's a good deep kick. Sends Hellhound down to the two once again. And he doesn't get as big of a return. He doesn't get to the 40. As he is down at the 36. First down and 10. Man in motion for the mutants. Rabbit Haunt Gummery. And he gets two yards on the play. Second down and eight coming up. Rabbit Haunt Gummery to throw. He's got kills back across the field. And he's up to the 36 yard line of the Evils. Backup quarterback into the game is Andy Doltish. Man in motion is Haunt Gummery with the toss. And he gets six yards. And that will bring up a second down and four. Second down and four coming up. They will line up in the gun. Doltish to throw. And he is sacked way back by Carnage Razor as he records a sack. 
They sat back in zone, and they only brought one defender, and that defender being Carnage Razor. And he comes up with a huge sack to make it third down and 16. Man in motion is kills back to throw, and it's deflected and incomplete. And so, that will bring up fourth down and 16. They will line up to punt. Tyrant Eagle, back deep to return this punt. It's a good punt, and it'll be downed at the 23-yard line? No, at the 20-yard line. Menace Painwell in motion clears the backfield for Dukem. He will throw. Painwell breaks a couple tackles. He's to the 30. And he's out of bounds at the 40-yard line as he got knocked out of bounds there. And Menace Painwell is injured on the play for the Evils. Man in motion is Slenders as he checks into the game at running back, clears it for Dukem. He will throw, and he's got Reaper for a huge gain. As Waylon Reaper is dead on the play for the Evils. First down and 10 from the 43. Dukem will hand it off. Here's Slenders. And Slenders picks up eight yards up to the 35 yard line. And that will be the two minute warning. And so we've got two minutes to go in the half. Dukem will line up in the pistol. He will drop back to throw. He's looking, he wants it all. He's going deep, and he's got him deep all the way up to the one yard line before he gets taken down as Havoc Org Tree and Felon Bronson are both dead for the mutants. First down and goal from the one. Dukem on the handoff, and Slenders is into the end zone for a Philadelphia touchdown. And Vile Slenders gets his first on the day. They will line up to go for two. Dukem will throw, and he's got Dementia Scythe for the two, and Philadelphia leads 11 to seven. With 128 to go in the half. Snake Helly will kick off now for the Evils. It's another good kick. Sends Hellhound back. And he gets back to the 31 yard line before he is taken down. And so that will bring up a first down and 10 from the pistol. Kills will throw. And it's incomplete! And that will be an unnecessary cowardice penalty against the mutants. As he tried to throw it away on a dirty trick, as Bletcher Rocks is dead on the play for the evils. And so, that will bring up first down and 25. Kills will throw. Rabbit Hot Gummery's got a huge catch and run up to the 45 yard line of the Evils. But there's a penalty flag down, and this will go against the Mutants. And you can take that big gain off the board, and Claire Kilson is dead for the Evils. But that will make it first down and 35. Ref attack, and that will incur yet another penalty flag. And that will push them back even farther. That will push them 
half the distance to the goal, back to the three. First down and ten, Rabbit Montgomery, or not first down and ten, first down and 38. Second down and 37. Philadelphia calls a timeout now as they hope to get the ball back before the end of the first half. Or at least to touch it on a punt. They crowd the line of scrimmage. Rabbit Montgomery gets a few yards and he gets taken down at the 14. And a quick timeout by the Evils. 26 seconds to go in the half. Third down and 26. Kills will throw. He's got all day. It's intercepted by Gennard Savory. And Killadelvie will take over with a chance to score once again. Fifteen seconds to go in the half. They have the ball at the 24. They line up in the pistol. Menace Pingo to give. He breaks a tackle. He breaks a few more. He's still on his feet. And he's gone! Philadelphia scores with no time left in the half to extend their lead to 10. You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. They will line up to go for two. Dukem will throw. And no, he will not. He gets sacked. He had a man open in the end zone. If he had just a second longer, he would have been able to hit him. And so, that is halftime as the Evils are ahead of the Mutants 17-7. And so, those are your first half stats. The Mutants just have that one big kickoff return. Otherwise, they haven't been able to do anything on offense. And that is where the one touchdown did come from. Where they only had to drive 20 yards. Other than that, it's been total domination. And the Evils will get the ball to start the second half. Tyrant Eagle back deep to return this kick. He'll take it from the 12. Working his way up. He's got the 40. And he's past the 45 to the 46 or 47 yard line. And that is where the Evils will take over for their first drive of the second half. First down and 10. Dukem hands it off. Here's Painwell going around the outside. He breaks a couple tackles and he picks up 11 yards on the play. They will line up in the gun on first down and 10. He will throw. There's Dementia Scythe for three yards. And that will bring up a second down and seven coming up. Second down and seven, they will line up in the gun. Dukem will throw. And there's Painwell for a gain of eight and a first down. Vile Slanders will check back and or er, check into the game at running back. Dukem will throw. Firing across the field, and it is incomplete. He was looking for QZ Swatkins, and he could not find him. That will bring up a second down and ten. They will line up in the pistol. Dukem will throw. And he finds his man as Swatkins. And a gain of nine to set up a third down and one. Third down and one coming up. They will line up in the gun. Dukem hands it off. There's Slenders. And he's got the 
extends their lead as they take their first drive of the second half and score a touchdown with it. But Dementia Sight and Mason Beltier dead and Skeggy Moldman, Moldman and Kinda Wilder are all dead for the Evils and the Mutants respectively. They will line up to go for two again. Dukem will throw, and they've got the two! JJ Arhega right side with the two-point conversion. And I believe that's his first reception of this dynasty. Snake Elliott will kick off now for the Evils. And it's a good kick, sends Hellhound back. And he gets up to about the 30-yard line, and that is where the Mutants will begin their first drive of the second half. Kills will throw. Firing, and it's incomplete. As he was looking for Alien Robertson, he could not find him down the field. Second down and 10, man in motion. For the mutants. Rabbit Montgomery! And he gets stuck with a hit stick and a huge hit by Bustin Heavens, and that will set up a third down and five. Man in motion for kills. Rabbit Montgomery! And he gets taken down! And that will bring up a punt situation and a fourth down and three. Tyrant's Eagle, back deep to return this punt. It's a good punt, sends him back. And he'll take it, makes a man miss. And he gets to the 35-yard line before he gets knocked out of bounds. As Gennard Savory is dead, and Tyrant's Eagle is injured for the Evils. And Mole Kiffert is injured for the Mutants. First down and 10 for the Evils. Dukem will throw. He's got Painwell to midfield to the 45, all the way up to the 40 yard line before hey man, it gets taken down. And so, that will bring up first down and 10. Dukem will throw. He's looking, he's got a man. It's QZ Swatkins up to the 25 yard line. And a huge play as Dukem is over 150 yards passing now as Robert Grimm and Christian Groans are both dead for the Mutants. First down and 10. Dukem back to throw. He's got Painwell out of the backfield. And Painwell has got it up to the 13 yard line. And that will bring up another first down. Dukem will throw against the Blitz. There's Swatkins. And he's got a touchdown! QZ Swatkins scores his first touchdown of this dynasty as he is seeing extended playing time with the deaths of Waylon Reaper and Dementia Scythe. And I believe he could be a very good number three receiver. They will line up to go for two. Dukem will throw. Swatkins has got it. And the lead is 33 to seven. Snake Kelly will kick off now for the Evils. And it's a good deep kick. Drives Hellhound down to the two. 
And he broke a tackle, but he gets out to about the 35. But that is the end of the third quarter. As it is Evils 33, Mutants 7. First down and 10 for the Mutants. Empty back shotgun as kills to throw. He gets sacked and fumbled. As Rabbit Hot Gummery came up with it, but Lustin Kills is dead after he could not find anybody and he gets killed on the play for it. Man in motion now for Blandy Doltish. He will look to throw, and it's knocked away and incomplete. As the backup cornerback gets a deflection. Rabbit Hot Gummery gets a catch, and he gets a first down. They will go with the hurry up. Doltish to throw. He fires to the other side. And that is dropped! As his receiver dropped it on the play, and he could not come down with it. They will go at the hurry up once again. Rabbit Hot Gummery! And he lost two yards on the play, as Blandy Doltish is injured on the play for the Mutants. They will go at the hurry up though. Rabbit Hot Gummery gets a few. No, he lost three yards. Fourth down. Rabbit Hot Gummery fumbled the football. Scarnell Money gets it, and he does not get a first down as Dying Ghoul tackles him short. Well, he forced the fumble. He might have tackled him short as Rabbit Hot Gummery is dead on the play. And Philadelphia will take back over with 3.46 to go in the game. Now I'm just having fun at this point. First down and 10. They will line up in the pistol. Dukum will throw. He fires. Puke Skelly intercepts. And he's taken down at the 40. Does my bribe ref? No, I do not have that on still. As Puke Skelly has it for the Mutants. They will go at the hurry up. Doltish back to throw. Fires to a dangerous break with the interception. He breaks a tackle. He's to the 40. He's to the 45. He's to midfield. He's to the 45 40. And he's to the 35 or 34 yard line. As Trick Dangerous Fright gets a huge interception to snuff out that potential scoring opportunity for the Mutants. First down and 10. Dukem back to throw. He fires across the field. And Dukem picks up a gain of two yards. Or Pain Painwell picks up a gain of two yards as he is killed on the play. Bio Slanders checks into the game at running back as they line up in the pistol. Slanders on the give. He's going to the outside. He breaks a few tackles, makes a, makes a couple men miss. He's still breaking tackles to the 10, to the 5, touchdown! Touchdown, kill it over here. Touchdown, Bio Slanders! And he has scored his third touchdown of the day. They will line up to go for two again. Dukem looking, firing, and it's incomplete. As he was looking for nutsack hurts there on the two. It is unsuccessful. Snake Helly will kick off now for the Evils. And it's a good kick. Sends Hellhound back. Hellhound breaks a tackle, breaks another, breaks yet another, and gets out to about the 33 or so yard line, or the 38, excuse me. 
They will go with the hurry up. Man in motion. The toss. Rabbit hunt. Er, no. It's the backup running back into the game. Timeout. Midway. As they have two left with 152 to go in the game. Man in motion now for Doltish. Clears the backfield. They will throw. Scarnell Money with a huge play. He breaks off Bustin' Heavens three times. But there's going to be a penalty flag down as... This will go against the Mutants. This will go against the Midway Mutants on the play. As all dead Sith, Dying Ghoul, and Malix Shellington are all dead for the evils. And Alien Robertson is, and, and Scarnell Money are both dead for the Mutants. I thought that was going to be an unnecessary manslaughter penalty against the evils. I really did. But it comes back and they attack the ref which will incur another penalty and so that will push them back another 15 yards man in motion now for the mutants as they line up in the gun doltish to throw and it's uh, Grievance Smelson is injured on the play for the Evils. And that was fourth down, I guess, as the Evils take back over on offense. First down and 10 from the 15. Slender's the catch. And he's going touchdown by a Slender's! And he has scored his fourth Touchdown on the day! Both rushing and receiving! Slanders has had himself a day on offense! They will line up to go for two. Dukem will throw. And it's incomplete! He was looking for Callus Goddard as he could not find him. And the score is 45 to 7. Philadelphia will kick off for, or yeah, Philadelphia will kick off. I believe that pass was intercepted by Grievance Smilson. I believe that's why it was weird. It's because it was a dirty trick, but it's one where you don't expect the defender to intercept it. They will go with the hurry up. Empty back shotgun. Doltish to throw. And it's dropped. As he was looking down the field, he could not find him. They will go with the hurry up. Empty back shotgun, man in motion. Doltish to throw. Looking. He's got Marquise Goodwin. Or Goodson. Up past the 45 to the 42. Timeout midway with 37 seconds to go in the game. Empty back shotgun, they will go with the hurry up. Doltish, oh, Tre Dangerous Fright almost had another interception. He almost had another. They will go with the hurry up again. Doltish will throw. Tre Dangerous Fright almost had another. Third down and 10. Man in motion. Doltish will throw. There's Tre Dangerous Fright's interception. He finally gets it after he tried him three straight times, and he's to midfield. He's to the 45, to the 40, and he's down at the 38-yard line, or the 37, as Tre Dangerous Fright gets his second interception on the day. Philadelphia will line up for a 54-yard field goal. It is up. Does he have the leg? And it's good! Snake Elliott ends the day 
He puts a cap on this game with a 54 yard field goal. My kicker's range is 57 yards. He can kick it from the 41 or the 40 if I had to. So I knew he was in range. And Philadelphia puts up 50 points on the road following their first loss of the season. And man, does it feel good. I believe that's my biggest margin of victory so far in this dynasty. 43 points. My God. Look at those stats. Man, oh man. And that touchdown was a result of a huge kickoff return at the very start, too. Where they started off at the 20-yard line. They only got 104 yards of total offense. Jesus. This defense is for real. But yeah, I want to distribute it manually, of course. Oh, Dukem is just about there to the point where I can't give him any more. Vile Slanders, man. He's... This whole running back group is special. He goes up from a 92... to a 94. Menace Painwell goes up to a 96 from a 95. What is Dukem? Or, no, not Dukem. Painwell? Uh, that, yeah. Legend? Uh, his, his, his cat hit will go up tremendously at that point. Uh, yeah. I need to get them more receiving yards. Or rushing yards, my bad. Excuse me. Uh, but I'm going to upgrade Boralston Bot first. What was he before? 76? Yeah, he... He wasn't on the field as much as I would like... As much as I would have liked for him to, but... Man, these, these receivers... Greg Horde even came on the field for a little bit. Whenever he was dead, he was dead, and he was injured. But Husey Swatkins is going to be entrenched as my number three receiver. For now, for now, and probably for the foreseeable future, I honestly don't really see myself making a whole lot of uh, offensive changes in the offseason. Whether it be to cut or improve, I don't really see that. I see my defense more as the thing that needs to be fixed. But for now, QZ Swatkins is my number three. He's going to go up though. 43, let's see, 21 divided by 3, so 7. Yeah. That's... He was a 43. So he goes up to a 47. That's legit. He is ready to be a pro. Already. Receiving... Receiving two-point conversion, receiving yards, receiving touchdown... Yeah, he's... <laughs> he's an underrated guy. He... He's a guy you need to start watching out for in case you haven't been, well, uh, I was going to say if you haven't been uh, here very long, but he he had, back in week three, he had a huge fourth down catch, or no, third down catch, and uh, uh, this is definitely showing me that... Uh, I have good options behind uh, Waylon Reaper and Dementia Psych. He, 
<laughs> these these uh, pass catchers in general, well, these receivers, uh, and QZ Swatkins is uh, getting to be talked about in the same vein, but uh, all of these players are allowing me to uh, throw the ball a lot more and have more confidence in in them in general as Dementia Scythe goes up to a pro. That's why I threw him the two-point conversion so that he could be a pro. Now he's a 75. From what, a 73? Is that what he was before? Yes, he was. Bowalen Reaper, he's just the guy in this wide receiver group. I believe he caught a touchdown too. Jesus. Everybody caught a touchdown. I mean, I made a joke in the uh, second 40 Nightmares game last year, but everybody was getting touchdowns that game. That's part of the reason why I love blowouts is that no, he got a touch, uh, two point conversion. Okay. But yeah, um, that's part of the reason why I love blowouts is because everybody can get a touchdown in those. Where it's like, everybody scores practically. I love it. Nutsack hurts. I tried to get these players uh, experience, but it just didn't really work out. Mason Belchie died early on, so abandoned crooks had to come in. He can be upgraded to a 47, so that's good. Uh, Payne Molson is getting upgraded. And maybe Geysic Gloomalo. Yes. So now 79, 78, and 78. And a 47 in case I need. And he's a rookie three. Whenever all these guys, all the starters on the offensive line are all pro twos. Now for the defense. I didn't know when Random Slam would see the field again, but it happened this game. And I'm happy that he got to see the field. So now he's a 60. So good for him. I'm, uh, I'm really happy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, bless me. Sorry. Uh, and so... Uh, my, my defense played well. I am really happy uh, with the way they played. There was certainly improvement across the board. And I cannot be upset about that in the slightest. As Barbaric Scarnet goes up to a 42 overall. So cool. He gets upgraded as his blitzing goes up by one. Carnage Razor had a big sack. Which I appreciate him for. He goes up to a 57 overall. I'm going to upgrade his toughness. Actually, all the way. It, it won't impact his overall. It just makes me feel better. I don't know why teams try to dangerous fright. I really don't get it. I really do not understand why on earth they do that. I just don't. I, I seriously do not understand why they do that. 
you would think at some point that they would go, hmm, maybe we shouldn't test this really good guy that they have in Philadelphia. I mean, it's like, maybe that's a thought that crosses your mind at some point, where it's like, maybe we shouldn't do this. But they keep doing it, and it's mind-boggling that they continue to do it. As he goes up to an 81, and he is the best player on this defense. Why do you test him? I have no idea. They're just... <sighs> I'm excited for when we play the Thrills later on this year, and he actually gets to face his former team. I'm sure that would be great motivation. I'm sure it would be. <laughs> hey, Demonte Radox gets to get upgraded too. That's cool. Line bashers, Jesus Christ. The four string line bashers saw credits. Or saw uh, playing time. Gennard Savory got an interception, dude. That really helped to propel uh, the blowout. It was on. It was on at that point when I got the ball back. When I was just hoping to get a punt return at the end of that. Dude, that was cool. But yeah, he goes up to a 47 from a 46. Malix Shillington played well, actually, and I'm happy for him. And so he goes up to a 41. GT Dead War Words, I believe this was his first action of the Dynasty? If I'm remembering correctly? No, because he has one in toughness. Oh well, that's that's awkward to see that one. Because now I wish I could take it and put it in tackle and press deflection uh, and make it 41 and 41, but oh well. I can wait on that. Claire Kilson didn't gain any experience. He died too quickly. Rotney McPloud put it all in blitzing. Make him a 64. Upgrade him. Uh, tackle, increase that up to 93 to make him a 74. Is he teetering on the edge? Yes, he was teetering on the edge. Our, our funds are kind of going down a little bit. It doesn't make me concerned at all, by the way, but, and that's not sarcasm, but, uh, yeah, I'm glad I got that fourth down conversion at the very start of the game, uh, on that first drive. Things could have gone sideways had I not gotten that, but I'm glad I did. And who do I have? Oh, the Micro Hard Mutilators. Another playoff rematch, but I get them at home. And another team who I'm actually better than. But this season, they will be out of this world. Well, if you think out of this well this was preseason but they didn't do anything they didn't do anything and notice last year well i believe it was last year uh jamal adams uh whoever his equivalent is in this game was a star player i don't think he's a star player anymore But yes, uh, what are the standings looking like? Oh, the, the Hellboys won again, so they're kind of nipping at my heels in terms of the division. I'm still uh, 
one and a half, one and three quarter games ahead of them. Uh, so I'm not too worried about that at the moment. Uh, I would love to win at least two more games to, well, a 13 game season. So yeah, if, if I win next week, it will clinch uh, my second straight winning season. The worst I could go would be seven and six. Worst I could go now is six and seven, which would not get me in the playoffs. Last year it would have, but the Hellboys have already exceeded their win total from last year as they went four and eight last year. But the Forty Nightmares are looking as terrible as they were last year. So that's always good. I guess the 40 Nightmares have already played the Midway Mutants. If not, I would love to see how that goes down. <laughs> it would be the two worst teams in the league going going at it. Oh, God. Oh, if they have already, then the 40 Nightmares won. <laughs> but yeah. Looking at the schedule real quick. We have the Mutilators next week, followed by another home game uh, against the Damned, and then a bye week, and then playing on the road against the Malice Hellboys in Week 12 in what could be a game that could... Well, it's a game that could go a big way in determining who wins the division. I get that there are three games after that, but if I win, that could be a division clinching game. Now, I'm not trying to look forward. That's not realistic, but even if Okay, if both teams win and lose the same amount of games over these next two weeks or three weeks, uh, depending on if Malice doesn't have a bye week, and I win, it could clinch me the division. I'm not even going to lie. So I could clinch it earlier this year. But, yes... Uh, that will do it for me today for this Evil's Dynasty video. I, uh, hope you all appreciated the blowout. Week 5 was 31 points. I do want to check to see what my, uh, score was against the, uh, 49... Oh, yeah, 37 so, yes, this was the biggest blowout I have ever had. Whether I'm on the losing side or the winning side, that has ever happened in this dynasty. As it was 36 points. Well, no, it was 37. Yes, 37. So, 43 is now the new benchmark there, I guess. But yes, so, huh, that'll do it for me today. And yes, until the next Evil's Dynasty video, I will see you later. Goodbye, guys! Thank you all for watching.